There's hands coming in from every angle here. Look at this. Her. You're right. Go! There it is. No, that's a sucker. Mmm. Mmm. That's a big old fish there. <laughs> There's one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I shot that thing clear through. I guess we know how that went. No. Put it in a fish. Well, dinner is done. It's time for dessert. We're thinking of trying the pickled sucker. This will be the first time we've ever tried doing this on our own. I'm very excited. Others may be sad. You sad over there, little one? Oh, it's okay. You'll get a piece. I promise. Boy, if this works, this is going to be like a yearly tradition for us every spring. So as I talked about in that recent video about learning how to pressure can, um, this is one of those preservation skills. It makes it, you know, refrigerator safe anyway at this point. I'm just pulling this first one out. So coming from a pickled herring background, uh, if this tastes anything similar, I'm going to be super excited. <laughs> no way. Guys, this is complete insanity. I remember buying little like tubs, smaller than this, like that tall, a pickled herring for like four or six bucks or something like that. You know what this is worth on the street? This is only half of what I got in my fridge. It was totally worth a week worth of preparation. Before I share with anyone else, I'm gonna treat myself to another one. Guys, if you are into pickled fish, this is an amazing way to go. And uh, just like the canning, the bones are like non-existent at this point. Mm. Let me pull a couple of these out for some of the family here. Oh, I should try one of those onions too. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's happiness, but uh, I'm in it for the fish, guys. Well, this is not gonna last long. And this is, you know, it's a, it's a time consuming task and it takes up some fridge space, um, but I'm going to totally do this every time. And I'm probably gonna try pickling carp because the carp spawn is about to hit if the weather cooperates it's about to hit really good mama next we're gonna go with mama next mama i'm gonna have you pick a piece and if that little one wants a piece too you want to try a piece you want to try one it's pickled sucker take a piece take one there you go it's sweet <laughs> you had pickled uh, herring before, my lady? I don't think so. <gasps> so this might be your first experience with pickled fish? Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. She wants to try the time. onion, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you try your fish? Mm. Nibble on it. See if you like it. Mm. That is very, very tasty. Mm. Would you eat it again? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what that means, folks? That means I've got to share. It's okay. I've got more. Monster truck is begging to be next here. <laughs> <laughs> here you go, son. Pick a piece. Any piece? That's sucker, dude. 
That's really good. Say it louder. So That's folks really at, good. So the folks at home can hear you. <laughs> Do you want to try a onion too? That does not taste like an onion. Well, it's a sweet onion. Plus, it's been in that brine. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about that fish, though? Is that something you're into? Yes, sir. All right, Red. Pick a piece, any piece. It tastes really good. You like it? You want another piece? Not yet. Yeah. They can eat some first. All right. Pinky, get in and try a little bit. Oh, she's got a big piece. Are you familiar with pickled fish? Tastes like a crawdad. Tastes like a crawdad? <laughs> well, we don't eat those anymore, so if you missed them, here you go. It would be a similar consistency, though. I could see that. <laughs> it's grippy. It's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Let's try these little kitties over here. Oh, three pieces left. One for you, one for you, one for me. <laughs> you can taste like the spices. You don't like, like it, bud? Sour pickle. Try one more bite. It's like a sour pickle. Uh -huh. Try a bite. It's supposed to be nice and sweet. Tastes like a sour pickle? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, you like it? Oh, it. now he likes it. You guys can try an onion too if you want. It tastes like. You can taste the spice. We got people sneaking more from off camera. Would you eat another piece later? Yeah. You would, huh? Oh. I would too. <laughs> They're picking all the little pieces off of here. And I'll tell you what, I got a friend who I recently taught how to bow fish. Well, he showed him the basics. He picked up a bow and um, was able to get out there and start sticking stuff. And he's been wondering about this because pickled fish is something he likes as well. So I'm gonna have to get some of this up to him. <laughs> but that is fun. There's hands coming in from every angle here. Look at this. Here. I guess we know how that went. Mmm. <laughs> you need more? I already got one. Alright. Now it actually tastes like fish. Now it tastes like fish? Yeah. Now it tastes mm. like It does taste a little bit like a pickle. We're going to pause and enjoy this. I'll probably come back tomorrow in my video and continue on from here, but mmm. Mmm. It's like lemon juice. That's a big old fish there. <laughs> Boy, this is amazing. Mmm. Well, since yesterday, and we enjoyed some of this, that's what I got left of that pickled sucker. Um, and I think I'm going to reduce it to a quart jar or two. But I did give a quart of it to a friend and neighbor of mine. Um, he was the guy I was talking about who likes that stuff. And he says, boy, it's better than some of the ones you get at the store. And he was really excited to try it. Then I took another friend who uh, we've been bow fishing with lately. He picked up his own bow recently too. I started letting him use one of mine to start with. And um, just took him out to the lake. We got five. Earlier I was catching uh, movements out here and stuff. There it is, what is that? A big turtle? It's gotta be a turtle. It's huge. I was gonna say earlier I was catching movements and stuff out here, but it was just turtles. Look at the size of that one. Big old river cooter. Was it snapping turtle? Nope. Uh, nope. Uh. Another river cooter. A big male. Boy. Oops, there's something. Probably turtle. Yeah, it's going. It's a turtle. Is that him? 
Oh, I just missed them. What? Where were you, buddy? Oh, car! I had to take a shot. I didn't know if it would move or not. Oh! Hang on to my bow. Let me get a gill in here. Come on, big old carp, where you at? Oh, there he is, there he is. Hey, hey, hey. Nathan, you see it? I, oh, I was gonna say on the count of three. <laughs> I said on. That's okay. You should have took a couple steps forward too. Yeah, you're right. On your mark, one, two, three. Dude, that was like a uh, a depth one too. I didn't want to fire before you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Did we get tangled? Okay. I got to ride a little. Did you? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, really? You think there's a carp? Yeah. Whoops, stop. Stay still. I think there's a carp right here too. Out of that, um, I shot three of them, and his knock came off of his arrow, so he could no longer put it on the string. So I let him use mine, and amazingly, there were two decent-sized carp that each gave him three shots apiece until he stuck it. I was giving him a lot of encouragement and advice. He eventually got them. Oh, two of them. This one and that one. You want this big one here. Do you see the big one right in front of me? There's another one over there, but you see this one? You make sure to hit that. You were right over the top of it, but the other one didn't move yet. Reel in your line quickly and nicely. The other one is still sitting tight and you were over it. Is that what I said to originally? Yep, make sure to pull it on there. The other one is still there. So just reel in nice when you get there, just give it a good tug. There you go. The other one is still sitting right there. Michael, don't move, don't move. I just had a big carp here leave. Okay, yep, the other one's still there. I want you to walk forward to here and stand right in front of the stick once you get knocked up. Okay? Walk in, right in front of the stick. And then I want you to aim down. Do you see it there? Yes. Aim at its head. Oh, what? Dude, do you see where your arrow hit way back at the tail? Okay, that's the water refraction. So pull it out, nice and gentle. It's still there. You can pretty much do like Scarlet was doing with the uh, things, okay? This could be your first carp. I want you to get ready, and then I want you to lean into this, and I want you to put it, walk, take a step forward, put it almost up on its skull. Like, you know, aim down at it, and there you go. Dude, don't let it get off. Push your arrow down. Okay, let me see this thing. Um, okay, it's facing me. Oops. Keep that thing That's down. Awesome. Dude, he gave you it gave you three shots after you missed the biggest one sitting next to it. Hold on, I don't got the thumb yet. And the knock is in my chest. Okay, hold on. Sorry. No, that was my fault. I did that. Hold it still. Where's your open up? There you go, Freddy. You see this? Oh, that was the little cool. one. So we're gonna carefully make sure nobody's here, and we're gonna move up to shore. Oh, there's a big one, right there. Really? That's Where? Right there. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, so we're gonna, you want the big one? It's easiest, it's easier than switching this stuff. Okay, now tight, tighten that up right away. Um, your arrowhead. Oh, yes sir. Tighten that up right away. The big one's right here too. Yeah, dude, this is you, okay? Tighten that up right away. Take your time. Make sure everything is right. That's up, that's there, you're there. So the big one is right there. So again, I want you to lean into this. Put that arrow almost on its head before you release. Okay? Yeah, that's not the best. Okay? So even take one step forward gently and then put that arrow almost right down on it. Make sure you got your shot. 
Dude! What did you do? You let it off before you before you fired it. I, I don't know how you did that. But pretty much the arrow was not knocked when you let go. I don't know. Okay, so let's pull it all the way back. And get that thing down on there. There you go. Get on that. Dude, he's... Oh, he's not going to get away from you. You got it? Don't let it go. And hey, great visibility. Seeing that that guy was there. Now let's see what you got. Dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, Dude, it almost ripped out the side. Let's do this for a time. Okay, let's see this one. Boy, not bad. Monster truck. In there and through the top. So I got some nice fillets off of mine. I mean, do you see that? I'm gonna cut these up and I'm gonna pickle some carp tonight, which gives me the opportunity to walk you through this process um, a bit. So I'm gonna empty this jar so I can use it for the carp. That way it takes up the same amount of space as this had uh, designated to it. Probably got a snack on a couple of these and I'll get back with you guys in a minute. And I'll just walk you through some of the process here of how we make this pickled pickled fish. Sucker in this case, carp this time. So I got my fish cut up again. This is the carp from earlier tonight. Uh, had some good shots on that stuff. And it was in the 40s, high 40s, like 49 degrees. The active spawn has not really hit yet. Um, it's been almost a week since I've seen any active spawn. And then the uh, temperature dropped. So the fish are there, they're present, they're starting to build a number but they aren't really spawning yet. So these guys were pretty much just sitting still and we had, you know, just not even a moving target. It's amazing that this is just the fillets from three fish, but when you've got one like this big, it makes sense. So for the actual recipe, you're gonna be using a gallon jar. I got this one off of a Shotgun Red cooking. I just looked up something that seemed to be about the right thing. Again, I've got to look at some of the recipes from my ancestors. That's a goal of mine. So I'm just going to reuse this gallon jar. And uh, normally it'd start off clean, all that stuff. Um, I'm okay with it being the way it is, so I'm going to run it. But you just put down a layer of the fish. I got mine all cut up in nice little pieces. And then you put down a layer of salt. You use salt that's non-iodized, uh, non-iodized, so it does not have iodide in it, and uh, canning salt, pickling spout, uh, salt, just non-iodized salt, it, those all work. You're going to use about one and a third cup of salt, so I got a little guy here I'm just going to fill up, and you just alternate layers of fish and salt, fish and salt. So put in a layer of fish. I'm sprinkling a layer of salt on top of there. Grab another layer of fish. Whoops, sorry guys, you escaped. Add in another layer of salt. Mostly this seems to just be to kind of start off with a pretty even distribution. We're going to cover this whole thing in just some white vinegar. Just distilled white vinegar. So when I do that, it's going to mix up that salt that's in there anyway. And um, it's actually going to go in the fridge like this for five days. So every day. And... <laughs> They recommend you just shake it once a day just to make sure everything kind of gets mixed up. You don't have the salt settling on the bottom. But I'll tell you what, when you're as interested and as excited about it as I am, you do it more than once a day. 
So that's the last of the salt, the last of the fish. Looks pretty good. You can see it's kind of mixed up and layered up there. And then you're just going to take... I'll rinse my hands. Just going to take that distilled white vinegar then and cover it. Add a little more vinegar, have it covered by about an inch or two. Uh, that looks pretty good. And I've never tried the carp. And the only reason you guys are getting kind of this uh, actual view of it rather than just me telling you the stuff is because I happened to go get those ones today. So now I'm just going to slosh it around, mix it up pretty good. And then, like I say, this sits in the fridge for five days. Every day, pick it up and just kind of mix it up at least once a day. And um, you just kind of go from there. After five days, you take this out, you strain it. You rinse all the fish off, and then you put it in a bath of ice water for about an hour. While that's in the fridge, chilling in the bath of ice water, you get some pickling spice. I just had a little... Uh, container of it, a little jar that I used about half of it. Got the pickling spice, then seven cups of sugar, and eight cups of the distilled vinegar, and I brought that to a boil. Um, the guy who did it also added some white wine. We don't really have alcohol in the house, so I did add just a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar. If you do want to add the white wine, he recommends a third cup. But you bring that up to a boil, and then you let it cool let it completely cool. Take your rinsed fish that's all firmed up, put down a layer of that, and then cut up some sweet onions. Layer of sweet onions. Layer of the rinsed cooled fish. Layer of sweet onions. Back and forth, back and forth. When you get it all the way done, filled up how you want it. Add in that cooled mixture, and you let that sit for about two or three days. Over the course of two or three days, all the stuff that was floating and sitting up high will just begin to sink down, and then it'll be ready. And that's where our pickled sucker is at this point. I think this would be maybe day eight or nine, but... Mm. It's not cooked. It's pickled. We keep it in the refrigerator, and it's wonderful. And if you're concerned about parasites, too, that could potentially be in the fish, you can always freeze your fish first, because this isn't cooked. And if you freeze your fish, that adds a critical control point where any of the, uh, anything that could have been in there then dies, and then you can thaw it, cut it up, and pickle it from there. So we're going to give it a go with carp now. reason that a lot of people I think would originally do things like sucker or like northern is that there's bones in that fish that can be hard to get out of the fillets and unpleasant to eat or even you know potentially life-threatening to eat. It gets caught in your throat or something like that. So the vinegar helps just dissolve them pretty much where they no longer really exist. I can't tell in this stuff here that there that there is bones in it which is really cool. Mm. And, ooh, and really tasty. So I'm gonna get this guy in the fridge, let that chill, and uh, that's about it, guys. We'll see how this carp experiment does, but pretty much the more self-sufficient we can be, the more different ways that we have of at least having a temporary storage of something that tastes great that we can make ourselves. A lot cheaper than buying it at the store. I'll link the original video, put it up in a card here that I got the information from, and I'll put it in the description below too. But if you guys have ever tried pickled fish, let me know. If you haven't but would be willing, I highly recommend it. And if you've never made your own, 
It's a super simple process. Again, it's like a week-long commitment, but a lot of things when we talk about commitment are worth it. So invest the time. I'll see you next time. Papa out. Thank you for watching.